All right, this morning we're going to look at getting column headers as a row. This is actually easier than it sounds. And this actually was an interview question, uh, several interview questions that I've had like this. So it's, it's really good to know. It's really fun to know, too. Um, anyway, so if you're looking or thinking that it's a pivot solution, it is not. Though I do have a couple of videos on pivot tables, and one of them is an automated video on pivot tables, so that will help you if you're looking for like some type of pivot solution. Nonetheless, we will pick on a table in this database, and we will get it as, uh, let's just do name from sys tables. Okay, and we will get Tesla staging. We'll go select top one star from that table. Okay, so let's suppose you want to date, open, high, low, close, volume, and adjust close as an actual row. So we want these as a row and not as column headers. And in, there was an interview one time where we were, uh, what was it? I was normalizing data and they said nobody had ever answered this question right, which I thought is pretty hard for me to believe because it's actually a pretty easy question. Anyway, so column name from information schema dot columns, and then we will say where table name equals blam, and we just did. Now, if I was going to normalize this, let's say that this was for, um, you know, yeah, well, job interview would, would work, would do the trick. What we could also do, well, that would be, uh, let's do row number over order by column name as ID as value. It's our keyword. Okay. And you'll see, now I have an ID and I have a value. And then, of course, if I was normalizing this in the sense that I needed to make it into a table, my new table, which doesn't exist, because I think my new table is an actual table. Okay, and then if I take this and I do select star from blam, and you can see ID one through seven, and what we did is basically we got the column headers and we made them as a row, and of course we went a step further and we went ahead and we created an ID with them. So the next time you get asked, hey, how do you make a column headers a row, which probably will be never, you now know the answer and you can even create an ID with it.